Hey guys, I want to briefly cover a website that I actually saw on Bitwit's channel about two months ago, and it's a computer hardware sales and trading site. So if you've been in the sector longer than maybe two years, you're probably used to using Reddit Hardware Swap, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and mainly eBay to buy and sell your used PC hardware. I've been looking for a better solution that is kind of a happy medium that gives you a broader audience of, well, I guess the entire country instead of just your city, but something that doesn't take a 16% fee like eBay does. So I briefly wanted to cover Jawa.gg. I'm not affiliated with them. I just signed up and I've used it a couple times and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. Um, I've been an eBayer since 1999, and I've been a PC builder, uh, I guess a hobbyist, since about 1994, and I constantly have used hardware that I need to sell, and um, I've always been looking for a better place to buy as well. eBay has unfortunately had the market cornered pretty much that entire time. There are options like Craigslist and Marketplace that are great if your local market happens to be good for whatever you happen to be buying or selling. But for a lot of you, that's not the case. Um, or even if it is good, there might be better or worse pricing in other regions. So Jawa, when you get on their website, um, you don't have to have an account to browse. However, I would recommend just using uh, Google Federated Authentication. That's what I did here. And it seems to work really, really well. So um, this is the main page right here. Well, I guess that's not true. This is the main page right here. There's a search where you can go down by, okay, I'm looking for a GPU. That narrows it down to um, GPUs for sale. I do like to go with a keyword search. Let's go with a 3060 Ti because that's what I'm currently selling. There could be a little bit better um, uh, drill downs here in the actual search, but once you're in it, honestly, it's pretty good. I really don't have any issue with how this is arranged. I will say I don't love how their uh, UI UX is laid out. It is usable, but getting, for instance, just to a conversation that you've had with one of your prospective buyers, you know, and the website breaks a little bit, and in order to get your full account uh, registered, you do need to link it to Discord. Um, you can still buy and sell without it, but just something worth noting, the actual UI UX isn't super duper good. How Java works is you just go ahead and create a listing. You um, do actually have to go through and drill down with a pre-populated list. For graphics cards, it had my cards, so I'm not super worried about that, but if you were selling vintage hardware, this wouldn't be ideal. Uh, drag and drop photos into the top here. Give us a condition. Um, and then this is where it starts to get a little bit different from eBay. So I, the last two times I've sold uh, an item on here, have used the Jawa shipping. I ship a lot of stuff, and I would highly recommend that you do actually use their Jawa shipping. Um, what this will do is you key in the weight and the dimensions, so you do need to know that ahead of time, but for a newer piece of hardware, it's really not uh, a tough thing to find. And it will automatically calculate and tell the prospective buyer what it will actually cost to ship to, the, um, to them. And it will add it on top of what you're asking for your product. So for instance, I've got a 3060 Ti listed for uh, $439. And it will quote somebody actual shipping cost on top of that. When they click purchase and they go through, um, it will, the funds, including shipping, will ACH from their bank account to Jawa in an escrow, and then uh, Jawa will send the seller, me in this instance, a shipping label. You ship it, and then when the tracking number is listed as delivered, 48 hours later, the funds are escrow released into the seller's account. That's all well and good. It is a little bit nerve wracking because that's a long time without your money and without your product as a seller. And I don't really like that the support really does seem to be buyer geared. That's the biggest issue in my opinion with eBay is a buyer can do no wrong and sellers get screwed. But I will say the caliber of individual I have talked with on this website, 
the buyers have been significantly less bad than any other online sales platform for used computer hardware. So I would recommend it just based on that alone. Um, and it, uh, the, the real reason is no sales tax and they don't charge you obscene fees. So take the instance of that 3060 Ti And I'm actually going to go to don't hide sold items. So in the instance of this card right here, this FTW3, sold for $439 plus shipping, buyer paid the shipping. My actual net from that card was $409. So really $30 is, is a lot better. I would net about $365 to $370 on eBay if I sold that. Um, so I, in my opinion, you can ask less for your hardware, you can give the person on the other end a better deal and still net more money. Uh, it's still not as good as a marketplace or a Craigslist, but as far as expanded audience, uh, computer hardware sales, I do actually really like Jawa. And as long as they don't regress in any of those, um, facets I mentioned, I really do think that this is a viable platform to displace a lot of eBay.com and I do recommend you check them out. So that's my brief on Jawa. Hopefully that was a little bit uh, helpful, you know, if you're an eBayer or something like that, but it's worth checking out. Uh, everything I've heard from actual people that use it, including my experience, has been uh, positive. So your mileage may vary, not advice, but I like it.